What happened to you, Josh? What is this place? Everything is a blur. I won't stay here that long. Three circles, just like the platform. I should be able to do something with that.
something moved.
worked. There's more. That's the last one. Is that the exit? I did it! Ah! Ugh. Ugh. My head. What the? Shit! Clyde, get Deneb. She got out! What? How on earth could no she- No time for that! Go get him! Out. I'm out? Ugh, who cares about Deneb? Do you think Iverson gave a shit when she offed all our guys? Huh? Wait, Iverson, are you talking about the party? It... it wasn't us. And now she's awake. Great. What do you mean, it wasn't you? Don't fall for her act. She came here to destroy us. Don't forget it. What are they talking about? I'm not here to... We thought you were behind the attack. We... Just can it. You can stop the little dance routine already? It's not gonna work on us. So spit it out. Why did your bitch of a prince betray us? She didn't. This is so backwards. You're gonna pay for her treachery. You get that? None of you are going to get away with this. That's enough. But Deneb... I said enough. Miss Lewis, I presume. Osborne. At last. Well, you certainly are resourceful. Few people are able to escape from memory traps without assistance. Though I doubt you were able to escape with your memory unscathed. What are you trying to tell me? I do hope for your sake that you have recovered all of your memories. Otherwise, they're gone. The process is more or less irreversible. You've got to be joking. I'm afraid not. Let's put the matter behind us. Now that you're here and conscious, we'll be able to talk. Why did you lock me up? You represented a threat. A threat? I just wanted to talk to you. And why, pray tell? 
To explain the reasons for your prince's betrayal? The prince is on edge. She thought you might have been behind the attack. But seeing your reaction, I'm guessing you're not. Hmm. You're putting me in a somewhat awkward position. I would like to take you at your word, but that would mean putting what's left of my men in danger. If you're telling the truth, you're going to have to prove it. The Prince pulled out all the stops to make this alliance happen. I have a hard time understanding why she would order an attack against you. And why not? She's been working tediously for years to form a union between us. Boston was Malkavian under Quentin King's rule. Do you remember what that was like? All too well. Lady Iverson has been working her ass off, year after brutal year, to bring the city back to normal. She's been of a singular mind to reestablish bonds with you. I wasn't aware that this alliance meant so much to her. You have to believe me, we're not responsible for the attack at the party. The prince will be relieved to know that you're all safe and sound. If only that much were true. Many of our brethren were in attendance at that accursed reception. The prince has sent someone there to find out what happened. It was a dangerous decision, but it was the only way to get to the bottom of this. And in the same breath, she sent me here to see if you were safe. Very well, my dear. I would like to believe that you are not here to finish the job, as they say. However, the idea that your prince sent you to help us? Iverson may be many things, but she is most certainly not sentimental. You're right. That isn't the only reason I was sent. Just why are you here, then? For our alliance. I know these times are tough, but the Prince wants to make sure our agreement still stands. What agreement? What do you mean, what agreement? The union you were supposed to celebrate at the party. Be more specific. What were the particulars? I'm not sure I understand. You know exactly what it was about. Why are you asking me? I want to know if I can trust you. Or if you're trying to pull one over on me with your eloquence. So please continue. With all due respect, Mr. Osborne, I'm a little too old for pop quizzes. We both know the broad terms of the Alliance. I wouldn't be here if that wasn't the case. Can we just get down to business? What attitude? Hmm, fine. You're right, we've wasted enough time already. Let the negotiations begin. What negotiations? Look around you. This room used to be teeming with devoted kindred. We lost three quarters of our people. Hartford has taken serious risks. In all regards, risks that are not on par with your prince's commitments. We demand compensation. I see. You seem to know the terms of the Alliance like the back of your hand. You're more than qualified to participate in these negotiations. With all due respect, I don't think... Enough small talk. What is your prince willing to give us to salvage this alliance? 
and right the wrongs that she's caused us. What if the prince gave you a slice of her city? That would depend on the neighborhood. Hey ma'am, girl, where are you going with this? Whichever one you want. Downtown? Within reason. Hmm, all right. How about Charlestown? Why not? Very well. We have a deal. I'll contact our headquarters in Hartford to iron out the details. Fantastic. Hazel's gonna kill me. Well then, it looks like we have ourselves an agreement. Hartford will remain under Boston's umbrella. For now. Iverson will still have to answer for the party. What happened was unacceptable. I will not turn a blind eye. I understand. That being said, I applaud your demeanor. The situation wasn't exactly to your advantage. Thank you, sir. Very well. I'll contact your prince in the next few days. I think we're done here, unless there's anything else you wanted to talk to me about. I would like to ask you a few questions. If you have a minute, of course. Of course. You have any rivals in the blood business? Yes, there are a few. Malkavian Spawn, in particular. They had the market cornered for a good amount of time, especially in Gwyndon King's day. Even though I don't approve of their methods, I must admit that they excel in their art. There are few capable of producing blood so pure. Seems like your business has been turning for quite some time. Am I right? Indeed, you're not mistaken. Warlocks have always had a special talent for getting the most out of blood. Call it our trademark. There's always been trafficking, but what your prince is proposing goes much further. Combining Dr. Dunham's expertise with the skills of the Tremere clan. The result would be... Enormous. Precisely. I bumped into a few people during my... detention. Humans. Yes. Who are they? What are they doing here? They're the forgotten, the invisible. People who live on the streets. Junkies. Squatters. They wander in here by choice, or ill fortune. Well, we do need blood, like everyone else. You mentioned my memory fragments earlier. Yes. You led me to believe that the loss of them was permanent? Not necessarily. Memory impairment is a side effect of the dimension. How permanent the condition is varies from one person to the next. That's the kind of thing I wish I'd known going into this. <laughs> I can only imagine. But as I told you, you may not have anything to worry about. With any luck, it should all come back to you in time. At least, if it comforts you, I truly hope so. Am I the only victim to suffer the effects of your magic? No, far from it. Anyone who enters the prison is affected. Including you? Of course, but we have rituals to counteract its effects. I don't get it. Why do you target memories? You could have just built a bunch of high security cells. 
Believe me, all cells can be breached, even the strongest ones. But if you rob prisoners of their memories, they lose their very desire to escape. In theory. In theory. No, I'm good. Uh, very well. You'd best be running along back to your prince. I'm sure she's eager to hear your report. That she certainly is. Very well, Miss Lewis. Mr. Moses, uh, would you please escort M.M. out? It would be a shame if she were to get lost again. As for the rest of you, it seems we need to start packing our things. Next stop, Charlestown. And like always, you've completed your mission. Like always? Those words don't come from me. You must know what they say about you here. No, I don't know. Enlighten me. Well, you have kind of a reputation. It's actually rather flattering. What exactly do they say? Oh, you want to know? I didn't think. Simple curiosity, nothing more. Everybody kept saying that Galeb Bazori has been in tough spots before, and that you come through them unscathed. They were right. Don't listen to gossip. Forge your own opinions. Don't worry about it. It's not a natural thing here. It takes some experience. Mens et manus. Mind and hand. That's the MIT motto. One of my teachers used to say that the only way to really learn something is by doing it. You have a lot in common with him. I'm unsure of how I'm supposed to interpret that. It's a compliment. You didn't tell me what was in those files you gave the prince. I don't see how that's any of your business. To make up your own mind about something, the best way is to go to the source. And apparently, Jason Moore is well informed. I see. You'll have to be patient, Fang. Do you... Do you think your success on the mission could play to our advantage? I mean, for... The Prince will decide your fate when the time comes. Being useful to her can't hurt. How do you feel about it? Honestly? I just want to get it over with. Like when you're going into finals? Even if there's no going back? It's a little late for that, isn't it? It is. Your child, Beryl Underwood, did he have any second thoughts? I don't want to discuss it. 
He's your only child, so I wondered how it went. Well, could you enlighten me? Barrel is very different from you. He always has been. I was blind. It won't happen again. Beryl would have begged me to get what he wanted. Your patience reassures me. I'm making the right choice with you. You seem to really have a problem with him. Yes, and that's why you must stay away from him. This separation between you, what caused it? Don't dig too far into it. You know this is something I don't discuss. That's too bad. You've already mentioned Beryl, and I told you not to do it again. Your interest in him is growing, and knowing him, he'll try to take advantage of that. Unless, he already has. Excuse me? Did you speak to Beryl? Don't lie to me. Yes. Damn it. He asked me to stop by and see him. I'm going to have a word with him. No. Silence. Wait here. Just one more, and then you can go rest. All right. Thanks, Ms. Ortiz. <laughs> 